I'm going to take you for a tour around the studio real quickly. This is my uh, work area right here, part of it. It's uh, my Solner wheel and some racks that I use. Over here is another potter's wheel, a very old Brent wheel that is uh, used occasionally. It has a lot of power. It's gear driven. And then we go around and see my desk full of clutter. Here we have a slab roller. It's a um, North Star Super, they call it, slab roller. And then we go around with some more racks. A bunch of planners there and some plates. And then here's a rack, an old postal rack actually. We've got three of them. And it's full of uh, greenware, as you can see. This, I'm getting ready for a soda firing, and so I'm doing a lot of things with texture on here. Some cups that were cut with a wire tool. Back there, you see a few vases that have a lot of kind of carved texture in them. There's a little uh, pitcher down there, a rack of cups. And on top of the rack, you'll see more individual pieces getting ready for the soda fire. And then go back over here. And here's some more things. There's some teapots. It's kind of my bamboo root teapot. <laughs> and uh, another little teapot, a little jet teapot I call it back there. You see it's got the exhaust on the back. Some little wings on top. If you can see that. And some of my wife's work, she does highly decorated pieces with slip trailing and carving. And then some more pieces for the soda fire. There's another jet teapot. It's going to have a handle put on the back after it's done. Made out of wire. And here's a few finished pieces. There's one of my pieces up there. Another one over here. And then there's some a friend of mine's pieces. We were doing some photography. That's why they happen to be here. Ed Thompson is his name really nice highly decorated either carved such as this one or this one is is paddled with a rounded tool and then another one right here with a lot of carving on it with a copper green glaze on it and then you can see some more things some sculptural pieces that I've done like I said we were doing some photography that's why these things happen to be sitting around and then there's the kind of cleanup area and make lunch area. <laughs> and then another big, large table here with a few pieces that I worked on today. Put some handles on them. And they all have quite a bit of texture on them because that seems to be what works the best in the soda fire. And then we go around here. Here's a piece of my wedging table and a piece that I was working on just a few minutes ago. Put the little handles on it and did some texture work. It's minimal texture, but it looks really nice when the soda vapor hits it. And that's it for the inside. And I think I'll go outside real quickly and uh, show you my kilns. <coughs> Excuse me. There's one small kiln there, 16 cubic foot. There's a larger kiln. This is an Olsen kiln. It's uh, 36 cubic foot. And then there's a big car kiln here. Rolls out on some tracks, as you can see down there. And that's uh, 48 cubic foot. And then finally, we go through here, and you can see the fourth large gas kiln. The shelves have been taken out of the interior of it, but uh, just to clean them up. But this is a soda kiln. You can see the bag walls in there. Flame comes in from this side over here, both sides actually, there's six burners and all, and uh, it's a, a downdraft kiln, the chimney is up there, it looks really, really tall I think in the video, it's pretty good size, I think that's about 24, 25 cubic foot of stacking space, it's just close to 50 cubic feet overall, but a lot of it's taken up by the uh, fire firing area, and then finally let's go into the showroom, Try and do this fairly quickly. I'm gonna have the video too long. We've got this old skeleton key. 
that I used to uh, for the for the lock on there. And then here's the interior of our showroom. And you can see a few pots in here. It's a covered jar. That's done with an ash glaze. A Cu couple pieces. There's this is a jar with a kind of a bamboo lock, I guess you'd say, uh, for the lid. And that's soda fired. And the one I just pulled up there is also soda fired. And there's one of my wife's bowls. Very pretty bowl, I think. And a few teapots and other things that are on the wall. And going around some of my wife's work, some of my painting on pots. Those are kind of Chagall-esque horses on there. And here's a few finished soda pieces. I don't have a lot right now in the soda because we had a, I haven't really done a firing since Christmas. Some platters on the wall. Couple more pieces I do. Some also kind of American arts and crafts or American art pottery, I guess you'd call it. Mimicking some of the stuff that was done at the turn of the last century. <clears throat> more pieces. There's a platter or bowl, I should say, with an ash glaze on it and another blue glaze as well. And some more on the wall. There's a platter up there that I like quite a bit has a, a white slip on it, a porcelain slip that's been, maybe you can see the finger marks that are pulled through the porcelain slip and then it's sprayed with a, an ash glaze, that's a blue glaze, and then another glaze, the, the off-white glaze. And a few more pieces around. We do a lot of copper reds and rutio blues. Cups. That's it. This is this showroom is probably about I don't know 15 by 12 feet or so. It's not real big, but it works. A sculptural piece up there, Howling Man, and a few of the cups come down. The soda cup, and that's it. End of the tour. Bye.